Well, here we are, pulling into the cabin. It's kind of snowing, raining, sleeting, spitting, nasty crap out, but at least there's some snow on the ground. So we're going to grab the gate here and then uh, make a way back to the cabin. Can't wait. Looks like we had some turkeys in the driveway, and if that's the case, that's uh, be the first time I've um, actually seen turkeys up here. So that's interesting. I've seen them. I guess I've never seen them on my place. So we'll check that out a little bit further. About a quarter mile lane here. A little, maybe a little more than a quarter of a mile back to the camp. There she is off to the right there, looking at the back side of the sauna. Luckily the snow is not too deep yet. I didn't have to get plowed out to get back here. Um, but there she is in all her glory. Uper camp. All right, so I'll give you a little tour around here. Uh, we got the truck all unloaded. Got a fire started, as you can see from the smoke out of the chimney. Uh, this is my cabin. Out here in the middle of the Ottawa National Forest in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Pretty secluded, nice and quiet. Lots of wildlife. Uh, lots of beautiful scenery around here. Waterfalls and such. Um, I just I just love coming up here. It's a big change from my my home in northern Illinois That's for sure uh, Probably the biggest change right now is the fact that there is snow on the ground Although it is kind of raining sleeting um, So there's my cabin um, Just a 24 by 24 I believe with a porch got a propane fridge out there on the outside the porch Got a propane stove inside propane lights I do have a generator right in there in that box. Have not fired it up yet. Um, don't use it a whole lot, but it is kind of nice to have some power when you need to charge things, charge batteries. Uh, got a TV in there, watch a few movies, etc. Uh, this is a traditional Finnish sauna. It was built by the uh, previous owner, an old fella. And he had died, and I bought the cabin and the whole camp from him. Well, that sign was there as well. Uh, he wasn't a real tall guy. You can see here. I'm about 6'3", and if I walked in there, I'd probably knock myself cold. Uh, so I don't think he was a real big guy, but uh, yeah, a lot of those old fins weren't real big people anyhow. So traditional height, about a five foot high door. Uh, you go inside here. Uh, it's just a little storage area. That's the stove over there in the corner. Um, Changing room, got some hooks, got some glass in here, so we get some nice light. But I'd usually do, uh, I usually do bring in a, uh, a lantern and hang it up right up there. That's what this is to protect the roof from igniting. Uh, some silhouette steel targets. I do like to do a little plinking up here, and then walk in here into the sauna room. Pretty traditional area. It's the wood stove and the sauna. Got a ladle. Got some uh, beautiful Lake Superior cobble. Um, 
or transported up here and filled up the sauna. The nice little window out the back here, which when this thing's going, that window is generally wide open because it does get pretty warm, even at 30 below zero outside, it does get warm in here. So I got a nice little view here in the sauna. Got seating for a couple of people. Uh, a little tub down there somewhere. You have a date back underneath there. It works good for uh, works good for bathing and such. Um, but generally, just come in here and get a good sweat going. Those two knuckleheads right there are my girls. That's Ivy and Addy. Addy on the left. Ivy on the right. Um, both named after the Chicago Cubs. Miss Ivy has the Ivy on the outside field walls and Addison Ike Wrigley Field is at the corner of Clark and Addison. So I suppose if I ever had another dog I'd have to name him Clark. So I had a Clark and Addison. But, so anyhow, we drive in, park down there. Um, like I said, it's about a quarter mile off the road back into here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some shoveling of some snow and get things moved around here and try to get the cabin warmed up. And uh, we'll talk later. Well, first night at the cabin, traditionally dinner consists of, yeah, you think you want some of that. Dinner usually consists of something from home, quick and easy. Um, fortunately for me, we had prime rib roast on Christmas Eve, and I've got a couple of righteous looking slices right there that I'm going to heat up on the stove. Uh, I've got some uh, garlic and cheese biscuits to go along with it. Um, what, what else could you ask for? I mean, this is like perfect dinner in a perfect location. It is snowing again out there, although it's, I think it's probably more rain than snow. It's about 34, 33 degrees out there. Um, not exactly ideal conditions for this time of year, but uh, yeah, we'll take what we get. The reason my wife had cooked this a perfect uh, medium rare, it was absolutely de delicious uh, Christmas Eve dinner. So I just kind of want to warm this up. I certainly don't want to take away any of that uh, medium rare flavoring from it. So we're just going to kind of heat it up on a skillet here a little bit. And if I can get it on my plate before my two dogs get a chance to have a taste, I'll be lucky. Because they're kind of hawking around here thinking that the little prime rib would taste pretty darn good. You're right, it will. If you're lucky, I might give you some. I'm not much of a cook, but when I come up to the cabin, I like to cook. Um, I like to make breakfast, I like to make dinners. Um, at home, yeah, I'm not much of a cook, but uh, up here, I kind of enjoy it. I don't know why, what the difference is, but uh, maybe it's this old propane stove or something that uh, makes it more romantic to cook on, I don't know, but uh, I definitely do enjoy it more up here than I do at home. I think we'll call that good enough. I'd say that's a pretty righteous dinner for a first night here. A couple pieces of prime rib, some garlic cheese biscuits. What could be better? So I'm going to give you a quick tour of the cabin here real quick. Uh, basically what we have here is a uh, Nice kitchen cabinet. Actually, I bought that at Ikea about 10 years ago. Brought that up here, assembled it. 
Uh, what was there was, was pretty ratty, uh, but it's worked out really well. <clears throat> Got a nice little sink here. I do have a pump below the sink that, uh, let's see if I can get out, of the, get out of the light here so you can see what's going on, that you can actually pump water. Um, I did not fill that up this time. I uh, actually brought a 10-gallon GOT cooler full of water from home. Depending on the time of year, etc., um, de determines what I bring from home. Um, I do have a well here um, outside. I can run it with the generator and a pump, and I can pump water. Uh, it's not great in the winter time. Um, you get a lot of rust because of the well casing, and you have to run it for a while, and then that water turns to ice, and it just makes a mess. So in the winter time, I'm usually not up here for more than you know four or five days a week at a time. Um, it's not a big deal to just haul in water, uh, which I've done this time. Uh, it's a little bit easier for my dogs. They they tend to get a little sick sometimes drinking all that all that lead uh, or lead all that iron water. Uh, so at least they're getting the water that they're used to from home. Uh, basic wood heat. It's a Vermont casting. Uh, I believe it's the Resolute. Uh, it's their smallest stove. It's probably an older one. Probably from the late 70s, early 80s. Um, great stove. It's more than enough to, to heat this cabin, believe me. I've had it going for about three hours here now, and it's probably close to 85 degrees in here. So I'm going to have to throttle it back now that I've got it warmed up. Got four bunk beds, two on each side. Um, I'll only be using one now. Top one's more um, storage than anything. I don't have a mattress for that top one. But my boys and my wife, they'll sleep over here, uh, or sleep on the couch, or on the floor, or wherever. Uh, I figure we can probably sleep, oh, at least six people comfortably in here, if not a few more. Depending how uh, how much people mind sleeping on the floor. Uh, I got a little, I guess you'd call it a bathroom area. Uh, it's kind of a vanity with a with a mirror, um, putting contacts in, etc. I got a couple of rubber maids. We keep toothpaste and toothbrushes, all the all the essential things. Um, right now I got a couple of dog crates in here. They'll end up sleeping with me on the bed, but if I go out during the day, I put them in the crate so they're not tearing things up. Um, over here, the entertainment system. Um, it's the old TV I brought up here, and, and uh, we don't get any TV stations, although I do have a satellite dish outside. Uh, it does not work. Um, I used to have a spare receiver that I would bring up here. And it would work okay this time of year when there was no leaves on the trees, unless there was a lot of snow on the trees. Um, it, it didn't work well enough to uh, warrant continuing to bring it up here. So really what we do is we like to watch movies. Got a pretty good selection of older movies in here. DVD player. Um, my my personal favorites. You got the entire Seinfeld uh Episodes, seasons one through nine, um, the Twilight Zone, all, all of those, the Wild Wild West. Uh, it's a lot of shows I, I enjoyed watching as a kid growing up. So that's what I like to watch on TV. I'll fire up the generator and maybe throw in a movie. Probably later tonight I'll do that. Uh, a nice coyote hanging on the wall. That's from down in Illinois. Um, hit that with a car about... Uh, 1985, and there really wasn't a lot of coyotes around at that time, so it was kind of rare, or it was rare to me anyhow. Uh, so I had a rug made. Um, then a buck I shot in Illinois here. Uh, I believe that was 92 I shot him. Uh, biggest buck I've ever shot. And there he is. And then we got the kitchen table, which is covered with camera equipment right now. I'm going to turn on a headlamp here so you can see what I'm looking at. People always ask me what I do when I come up north. Are you going fishing? Are you going hunting? What are you going to do? And and I like to do all those things. Believe me, I, I love to hunt. I love to fish. Um, <clears throat> but I think probably even more than that, um, I, I love to take photos. I'm I'm kind of a I'm kind of a camera buff. Um, I love old cameras. I love shooting film. I love large format. I love working in a dark room, making prints, developing film. Um, so that's that's kind of what I like to do. I like to come up here. I like to play around with old cameras, take pictures of different landscapes, different waterfalls, whatever. 
Um, go home, develop my film, make prints. I mean, that's 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 my passion right there. I've, I've brought a, a few cameras along with me today. Um, got an old knicker mat, probably, oh, I would say that's probably late 60s, early 70s. Got a 28 millimeter and an 80 to 200 zoom lens. I got that loaded up with uh, HP5, Ilford HP5, 400 ISO film. Um, got a Zone 6 4x5 camera. A couple different lenses I've got along. Um, and then my piece de resistance. Uh, it's my Birkin James 8x10 um, camera. I'm really looking forward to um, <clears throat> making some prints, making some photos with that. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I had recently uh, restored this camera. Um, I bought it in pieces basically, took it apart and stripped it and cleaned it and fixed a few holes in the bellows and did a complete clean and lube on the, on the shutter and the lens and uh, this thing's working really well. This is my first time having that up here. And then finally, the, the last camera that I brought with, this is actually the last film camera that I bought. It is a, oh, come on, focus on that. It's a Nikon F100. I bought that in 2002. Um, digital had just started to come out, um, and I didn't, didn't pull the trigger on it. I wanted to stick with the film camera. I'm glad I did. It's a, it's a great camera. It works well with all my modern um, Nikon lenses and everything. Uh, it has a motor drive. It's, it's a great camera, it really is. Probably the most modern film camera I'll ever have. Um, so that's about it as far as camera equipment. You got uh, some miscellaneous things, tripods, film holders, all kinds of good stuff over here. But, uh, but that's really what I like to do when I come up here. I love to work uh, out in the woods. I like to take photos of all the beautiful scenery around here and uh, black and white film is my chosen medium although I do some in color um, but I really prefer black and white for its drama etc so we'll be seeing some more of those this weekend we'll be doing some more uh, we'll be doing some photography um, be messing around here at the cabin and uh, it's really my first shot of, of doing any video here at the cabin um, <clears throat> So I hope you enjoy a nice off the grid cabin. See, I got my my gas lamps going here, all four of them cranked up. Um, I, you can't tell how hot it is in here, but believe me, it's pretty warm. Uh, my dogs are are zonked out here, enjoying the enjoying the heat. Um, so I'm gonna sign off here for tonight. Ah, I have a heck of a time focusing in that low light. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna cut some firewood. We're gonna do some photography. Uh, we're going to show you a few more things around here, and I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat>